Hi everybody, this is the first video in my spare and framing tutorial series. I plan to have quite a few videos. First, I'm going to go over the basics of spare, like animation, multi-touch, collision detection. Then, I'll go over to more advanced topics like tile maps and physics. So, maybe around 20 videos or so. And even more if anybody requests some. Spare is a framework for iOS, you might have guessed. I use Xcode and Objective C just like any iOS any other iOS framework. Its main competitor is Coco Studio. Coco Studio um it's very similar but it contains more built in functions. The downside to it is that the code is clunkier and less pretty, while Spare has a very neat code style. So you should try out both frameworks and see which one you like. I I think it's Spare is better just because it makes your code cleaner. And I guess I'm a neat freak when it comes to programming. So anyways, let's start. Let's get Spare Framework set up. So open your web browser. And then in Google or whatever search engine you use, type in Sparrow. Sorry, Sparrow Framework. Okay. Now, once you in Google, click on the first result. Then, you come to the website for Sparrow. So it's made by a company called Gamma. They make another framework for Flash called Starling. And actually, Adobe sponsored the Starling framework. This is just to show you guys that the people who made Sparrow are actually pretty good. And some neat games have been made with Sparrow, like this game, Little Birds. Also, there's another game called Piano Dustbuster and Summer Piano. A lot of piano games. But yeah, it's... It, if you look at the Sparrow games made with Sparrow, you can see some pretty impressive games. So, anyways, let's install Sparrow. So, press download and press download again. Okay, unzip that Sparrow folder and open it. Okay, now you should be in the Sparrow unzipped Sparrow folder. You see about four markdown files, ignore those. Then you'll see two folders, a sample folder and a spare folder. So first let's open the demo. So click on samples, click on demo, click on source, click on demo out of Xcode proj. Okay. And sorry. Now just pick your simulator and run. This demo has the Sparrow framework built into the demo, so that way you don't have you can just try Sparrow without without having to muck around with the having to muck around with the settings. So yeah, so just press press run and go to the simulator. And uh I think of code as a time to like just think about your code. So don't don't be angry about the compile time and just accept it and just wait for the code to compile. So now I see the iPhone simulator here and the spare framework demo. So you can have like Atlas textures, which are very fast. You can have sound. I don't think you can hear it. I don't think you can hear it, but yeah. So yeah. But yeah, you can hear sounds and all that. You can have animations, movie clips, kind of like GIFs, or, yeah, kind of like GIFs. And Sparrow is very famous for its animations, and it it has really good animations, and nothing like Coco, and, yeah, it has much better animations than Coco Studio, any other framework out there. So, yes, and last thing, you can have multi-touch. Oh, here's a cool tip. If you want to do multi-touch in the simulator, hold Alt or Option. And then you have two virtual thumbs. So yeah. All right. So now you see what Sparrow can do. So just quit the simulator. And if you want, you can take a look at the code. It's pretty simple, but we need to move along with adding Sparrow. So exit out of that window. Now go back to the unzipped folder. And once again, we see two folders: samples and Sparrow. This time. Highlight the spare folder and drag it over to Macintosh hard drive. Okay, we put that in Macintosh hard drive so we have a simple path for spare to go in. 
So yeah, copy to the Macintosh hard drive, authenticate, put in your password. Yeah, once you've copied it, then we can move on to then we can move on to the Xcode part of this. So go back to your spare folder. And now what you want to do is yeah, open Xcode and go to Xcode in the menu bar, preferences. Now click on in the top bar, click on locations. And then when you're in the locations menu part, click on source trees. Okay. Now we're gonna add a source tree. So basically we're gonna tell Xcode the Sparrow framework is located in Macintosh hard drive. So press the plus sign in the bottom left hand corner. In all caps type in Sparrow underscore SRC. Then go to the display name, same thing, Sparrow underscore SRC. Then under the path click on path, double click on path, then you go back to your Macintosh hard drive, then in Macintosh hard drive click on Sparrow, and once you're in the Sparrow folder, drag the SRC into Xcode, into the path text box. So if you've done that correctly, then you should see in the path it says slash Sparrow slash SRC. So now Xcode knows whenever it's compiling a game, oh Sparrow, I know where that is, it's located in here. So then it can go and fetch it when it needs to compile. So now I'm done with that. All the setup it wasn't so hard, was it? X out of the preferences box. And now you can go back again to the unzip folder. Now in the spare folder, in the unzip folder, click on samples. And now we have two demo. We have two folders: the barebone and the scaffold. Barebone is basic. Like uh, the barebone is. is is a just loads the basic sparrow and basic sparrow no fancy things but the scaffold has like I ads game center audio and basically makes setting up everything easier so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and open the scaffold and click on SRC double click on app scaffold on Xcode project wait for that to load alright now we're in the app scaffold so expand it Click on go to game game.m. Alright. So now you can see the source code. Fairly simple. But what so if you want to run this scaffold or any 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 sparrow game, there's one important thing. It may be tempting just to press run. Okay, so you go to iOS device, pick iPhone 5.1 simulator, press one, run. It's gonna run, but it's not gonna open the simulator. Because that then if you press that you're compiling sparrow. But we don't want to compile Sparrow, we want to compile our game. So in the top menu here, where it says Sparrow, and click on Sparrow, and make sure you press App Scaffold. Alright. So now that you've pre pressed App Scaffold, you're telling Xcode, wait, don't compile Sparrow, you already compiled it. Click on Compile the App Scaffold. So yeah, we've compiled the apps, we selected App Scaffold, now let's press Run. And I will be back when it's done combining. Back and see the app ran, and you see a text box background. When you press on this egg, it makes a knocking sound. So yeah, this is the basics of Sparrow. Also, we can just take a quick peek at the bare bones. It's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, quit the simulator. X out of app scaffold. Go back to go back to bare bone source. Bare bone the Xcode branch. Click on that. Same thing, if you remember. Click on Sparrow, Barebone. Click on iOS Device Simulator. Press Run. And I'll be back again once it's done combining. And like I told you, all you see, it's really simple. All it has is a red rectangle. This just tells you that Sparrow is running well. So yeah, you can take a look at the code. Quit the simulator. And you'll see that it's pretty simple. All you see is a game class and app delegate. Pretty simple. SP quad, you in it, you you make a quad like a square. Set the color, set the x, set the y, and add it to the main sprite. Sprites are like containers; they contain all the objects, all the objects on screen. And we'll go over this in depth in the next tutorial. So thanks, guys, for setting up. Hopefully, it worked for you. If it didn't, feel feel free to send me a comment. I try to reply as fast as I can. 
Thanks for watching and good luck with Sparrow.